Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah along with Elo, and we are back with another exciting episode of the Battle Mason uh, Super Singles Challenge. How are you doing today, Elo? I'm really excited that we actually reached the halfway point to live. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Now, we didn't have to um, you know, lose any of our pokes. I mean, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So uh, we're going to start this off with our uh, bottom team right over here, which is Kangaskhan, Age Slash, and the Mamos one. So it's going to be very awesome. What are you looking forward to in this episode today, Elo? Um, hopefully, Weakness Policy, Age Slash, putting in... Nah, I'm just playing. He <laughs> did plenty of work last time. Um, I'm not sure. I think I want to see a little bit of Mamo screen time, but the situation hasn't really called for it Should yet. Should we uh, lead with Mamo? Mm, nah, better better to play it safe and have Mamo in our back pocket. Okay, good. The it will be the most valuable pillow ex pillow swine. The end <laughs> <laughs> pillow, yes, 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 exactly. Comfort zone. Yeah. Anyway, guys. If you are excited for the episode, definitely smash that like button. Uh, check out both of our channels via the annotations on screen. And if you guys have missed the previous episode, click the playlist in the description. So without further ado, let's jump into our first battle of the day. We're doing five of them. We're going to get to battle number 30. So here we go. Rising Star Lena bringing out the Golem. Oh, I remember Golem from Gen 1. I sure do. <laughs> if this thing is, uh, I'm fearing weakness policy on this thing, but, uh, the one thing I do think you should do right here is power up punch. Mega and Power Up Punch. Yeah, there we go. Weakness policy on Golem, huh? That's a thing? Yep, that is a very popular thing, uh, because they get access to Sturdy. You'll live it on one, get your, you know, Stealth Rock set up, uh, or whatever you want to do. Uh, usually you'll end up taking some kind of hit, like a fighting hit, just exactly like that. Um, and look at how much that did. It's, it's, as long as you don't have it on, in on a special hit, it can take Earthquakes pretty well, too. Yeah, heroes that Bulldoze. Ooh. Alright, so our speed's lowered now. Uh, do we want to try another Power Punch? Yeah, might as well. We're still going to be faster than it. All right, here we go. Bam. So, okay, the, the str well, Golem can't take a special attack for anything, though. No, it can't. It can take one at the start of the match because sturdy. Yeah. But... Interesting. But then even if it has a weakness policy, it's slower than dirt, so what's what's the point? They get Sucker Punch. Oh, okay, I yeah. Think I think either as an true. egg move or as a tutor move, which a plus two sucker punch from anything unresisted still kind of hurts. Um, this guy, okay, I thought we might have been a little bit slower than it thinks to be. Oh my god. Okay, well, that's <laughs> that's probably going to be the end of game one. <laughs> We're at plus three. Mega Kangaskhan is two. Ooh, Tyrantrum. I love this guy. Catch this earthquake real quick. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Catch this. Even though we're minus one speed, we still outspeed all these guys. It's crazy. Yep. Oh my goodness. And to be honest, Mamoswine probably could have cleaned up there too. So I'm sorry I doubted you, Mamoswine. <laughs> well, Mamoswine's you are, a little... You're... He's a little on the frail side. Just a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Kangaskhan's got a little bit more bulk. Um, has better tight matchups as well, because it only has one weakness. Um, and Kangaskhan just has really good coverage as well. Yeah. Plus, it's a mega, so that's what mm. helps. Man, this is going to be a Kangaskhan-dominated episode. Here we go, Roller Skater Sierra with the Drift Blim. Ooh. We have Scrappy, mm. right? We can hit it. We do have we do have that, so... We can hit it with a power-up punch, right? Oh, wait. Uh, no, we'll just don't get mega, just Don't mega, just return. Mega, and then just return it? Or do not mega, and just return yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I don't know, you don't want to go for a power-up punch? Uh, it's part flying, so you oh, don't yeah, get off too much. Resisted. I'm also kind of fearing the burn, so I want to get as much damage as I can. Okay, here we go. We're just going to go with the return on the ghost-type Pokemon. Unbelievable here. Oh, ho, ho, hypnosis. Good. That's great. Thanks. Now, the good part here is because we are asleep, if it does have Will-O-Wisp, uh, can't be burned. Um, the one thing you could do here as well is... I actually would not Mega, because the only coverage move we have to hit it with is Sucker Punch, and if he starts setting up on us, we can't touch him. So. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, we can't really do anything. Dream Eater? What? Wow! <laughs> Styling on us. That's strong! We need a switch, man. Um, we could have another wake-up turn here, honestly. But he's gonna uh, go for Dream Eater, and that's a free switch. Also keep in mind that there is no... Uh, yeah, you could, you could go Mamoswine. And then what, go for uh, what, Ice Shard or something? Or, um, what does he yeah, have? Ice, we'll check uh, ice Shard's fine. Yeah, Icicle Crash or Ice Shard. Yeah, Ice Shard would do it. 
And we won't get hit by Aftermath with Ice Shard, would we? Um, I th think so. I think af Aftermath triggers on anything that knocks it out. I think it's just contact <sighs> moves, no? Let me confirm that right now. I don't run into Aftermath too often, so... We go for Icicle for Crash. Oh, it is physical contact. Um, but Ice Shard just counts as throwing a little pebble at it. So, <laughs> a little, a little Why did I think that Ice Shard was a uh, physical, like a, a contact move? It's not though, right? It, it makes sense, because there are some moves that don't seem like contact moves that are like Grass Knot and yeah. um, some other ones like that. Uh, Life Orb Mammo taking a Brave Bird. Aegislash, Aegislash here, you wall the normal coverage, the flying coverage, the fighting coverage. Yeah, it's that's one of the only pokes that is really secure at doing that. So. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And it didn't have Intimidate, so what, Reckless? Uh, yeah, Reckless is probably going to be the thing. Ooh, here. that close combat would have hurt. That would have one-shot us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from here, we can go uh, with, you can um, flash cannon onto anything pretty safely. I might switch. Oh wow, good job. It had nothing to touch us. That's good. She she was choiced at that point in time. So right, here we go. This this play is interesting here because I know we're gonna King Shield on an overheat. Um and we can just shadow ball at that point and then we should be able to clean up the last portion with flash cannon. So Alright, deal. Um, King Shield. You think an overheat's is, coming? I'm like 85% certain and overheat's coming. Alright, here we go. Get that overheat prediction. That'd be awesome. Heat Thunder Wave! What? Okay, that's that's fine. We are pretty slow. Yeah, that's fine. We can still go for Shadow Ball here. She's not going into Star Raptor because she actually with the most Star Raptor set kit. What? Oh, okay. Ooh, this Rain Dance Thunder, huh? Okay, well, at this point, we know it's probably not going to have overheat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so let's see. So you stance change and then you can get fully paralyzed, right? Yep, which is very dangerous. This also happens during sleep as well. Yeah, that's bad. Woo, that's a drawback. But it's also very good if you happen to be put to sleep on that turn. Um, it's, it's really good because you can change it at will, um, but it's very bad in uh, coming out of it. Yeah. All right, there we go. King Shield, wonderful, just to get uh, back into defensive form. Here's that pursuit. Man. Oh my goodness, that's this thing so sealed bad. its own fate. <laughs> that's so. We bad. don't know whether or not it's Choice Bandit or Choice Scarfed either, just because it was in on something slower than it in the first place. Uh, that's minus two, but it also was in our defensive form. And oh my we god, did not switch. So I don't know. I don't care. Ah, oh, <laughs> come on. That's what we were talking about happening, too. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We've got plenty of King Shields. Uh, even if we get fully paralyzed, we're still in a good spot. We'll yeah. just have to keep alternating. And we're slower than it, so there's virtually no risk here. Man, he's at minus four. This is. I feel so sorry for him. Well, that's what you get for bringing a choice Pokemon to battle, Mason. We've been in that spot before with Landers. Yeah. All right. Not come necessarily on. this bad. Mind Just you. attack. <laughs> yeah. Just oh come on. Oh my god. Well, the beautiful part at this point is it's gonna be up minus six before we get a hit off. So these pursuits. <laughs> then we can just not. forget about King Shielding. It'll still do like minimal damage. Yep. And see, we even got paralyzed there. I'd much rather get paralyzed coming into defensive form than coming out of it because this game this game should have been over like four turns ago. Yeah, no doubt. Pursuit. And we just don't have anything to touch it outside of Flash Cannon. Now, this could be an unfortunate stroke of luck here, but if we ever do run out of PP on Flash Cannon on a normal type, that will force switches. So, something to keep in mind in the next episode. If you want to trade that to me, I can raise the PP up to 16, because that's actually moderately relevant in situations like mm, that. That's right, that's right. And they will try to PP stall it. Yeah, especially on pressure pokes. Like, if we ended up with Aegislash versus, like, uh... Vespiquen, and we didn't max out Shadow Ball or Flash Cannon, and it started like defend ordering on us. We would only have ten hits on it before we'd be uh, forced to continually go for Shadow Sneak, and that would be a losing battle there. Yeah, that's that's bad. PP stalling shenanigans in the Battle Mason. You'll see it. You pr you guys have probably seen it already. You heard it here. You'll probably see it later. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mega EQ or Power Up Punch. 
Um, I'm feeling the power of punch. All right, let's do it. I don't think this thing can knock us out in one shot outside of like maybe a crit specs thunder. Crit specs flash cannon would hurt a lot. Yeah. But this is this is free setup for the most part. I like Magnazone. He's the very best part is he's very attractive. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, I just really <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, let's do it. Now we're at plus two. He's gonna go T wave. Great. That's fun. Yeah, sort of, I guess. <laughs> um, we can go for another power-up punches. Yeah, I don't see why not. We don't necessarily mind being slower. We haven't taken any damage. Um, I'm just going to be worried about being fully paralyzed through a couple of turns that we have here. Oh, man. Um, we do have a special defense drop, which means that we are forced to go for sucker punches at this point. Yeah. If he goes into any more special attackers. Gosh. Okay, well, Even to see. that extent, uh, we're not at a good amount of, amount of HP after that flash cannon and, and the Heracross. Heracross, that's see. good, right? We can do sucker punch, even though it's not very effective, right? We're at plus three? Yeah, we're at, we're at plus three. You might as well see how much that does. I'm scared of it being Moxie Cross, but... Oh. Oh, great. And we get paralyzed. Of we course. get paralyzed. So. Mega horn. Ooh. Yow. Yep. Heracross is a beast. That is and beastly. Thankfully, no Moxie, but Aegislash is the play here. All right. Let's go into Aegislash. Yeah. Here we go. So, right off the bat, do you want to just King Shield? I think they might switch. They There's a pretty good possibility they could be choice. Um. What do you think? Maybe uh, just Flash Cannon or Shadow Ball? I would just... Actually, yeah, you know what? King Shield. King Shield is safe, because even if they switch, it fails, and you can just go for it on the next turn. Endure. Endure. Okay. <clears throat> Which will actually fail on the turn after, because it works on the same counter as Detect and Protect. Yeah, let's, so... go, let's go Shadow Ball. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Shadow Ball has 15 power points. I didn't notice that last time, but still pretty much the same play. Yeah, no worries. Um, and we quad resist that Mega Horn, which is nice. Um, the only thing we would have really had to fear is if they brought tutor moves into play here and we ended up catching a knockoff, but knockoff doesn't knock off weakness policy. Knockoff actually activates it. Really? I thought it just yep. knocks it off. Nope, I had an entire showdown session uh, with Endure Weakness Policy Driftloom very recently. Dig! <laughs> Dig! Okay, well, he triggers our weakness policy guaranteed on this turn, and we're slower than it, so we can just shadow ball, and yeah. that's it. <laughs> and we're good. <laughs> Dig. Oh, man, in, uh, in the Battle Mace on doubles uh, with Jay Flynn, we caught so many Dig Earthquake combos. It was great. They just used Dig, and then we earthquaked him underneath the ground. It was so awesome. <laughs> that happened at least I'm... two or three times. It was funny. But you know what I've don't never see that done? Too often at all. I've never done the Thunder fly combo that's a thing that's a thing if someone's in the sky with fly and you use thunder it will hit oh i feel like is there a thing with dive and surf oh i don't know i, I don't that would be cool dive and then if you I, use let me let me go look up dive i feel like that was either something i really wanted to be a thing or it is a thing i don't know Oh, but the last one's a slacking. We got him. We got yeah, him. we got him this, really this, easily. This game's bagged. Um, diving on the first turn. User play second attacks on the second turn. No, nothing about. Yeah, I don't know about dive, but Maybe like earthquake to... and dig. That's awesome, and that's the thing with thunder too. Yeah. I've never done it though. No, it's it's not a thing. I guess. I wanted it to be a thing. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Or like dive in an earthquake, right? That would kind of make sense. A little yeah, bit. sorta. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> but what? How would dive and surf work? <laughs> it's just, he's still in the water. You're moving but. around a bunch of water, but like if you're hitting something that's diving in the first place, like you're probably hitting a water type, so surf isn't gonna do too much. Yeah. But thunderfly, on the other hand, that is. But see, like, no one competitively runs dig or fly. So it's like when I'm doing a, a random, you know, live stream where, like, some in-game team comes in and uses fly, I'm like, oh, I had an opportunity to. Dang it. <laughs> All right. We got Skunk Tank. Um, yeah, this thing's not bad. Uh, what can you do? Like, explode, poison? You're safe to Mega because you can always uh, you, you can just always want to EQ it, get it out of here? I would, yeah. Uh, Earthquake isn't a contact move either, so... And Skunk Tank is pretty bulky, so we'll probably take one, don't you think? 
Yeah, whatever it wants to do. And I don't think it's faster than us anyway. Whoa. Oh, I guess it is, Maybe but it is. we've got only offensive moves anyway, so... There we go, get it. Boom! Ooh, did not take one. Oh, he did, <laughs> he did take Fame one, credit. right? Yeah, it took one, which I'm kind of surprised about. That's so good that even if it had a focus sash, the baby would do some work against it. Uh, I would go for Power Punch, because even if you get uh, Encore into Earthquake, it's not even that bad. Okay. Getting faked out here. Encore, what, in the EQ? Yeah, I think so. Because we okay. didn't do anything last turn. That's not bad. That'll, that'll not really oh, do that. That's bulky, man. Next turn. Yeah, they, they tend to be invested that way because they're not really great on the offensive side. Until they make it. Ooh. And what was that, Focus Punch? Sub well, that, yeah, look at that. <laughs> we break your focus twice, so I'm not sure if that was really the best play. Um, that's actually a pretty interesting set there. With Encore, Encore. Focus Punch. If the Encore into a status move or yeah, like some yeah. kind of support move, then they have to switch or they are forced to stay in. I do like that a lot. All right, here we go. Well, we're still in the EQ, unless this thing's got an air balloon. I don't know. Mm, I wasn't paying attention, but that would be very cool of the Mason. Oh, oh, yep, it did have an air balloon. <laughs> I was, I was watching devil. on that one. So and our encore it ended, it's so toxic? we're fine. We can just return and kill this thing. Yeah. Maybe Sucker Punch would have been the best call there. No, that's fine. Sucker Punch is a good call on the next turn, though. Oh yeah, so no what's, doubt. In what's case it return do doesn't kill, but I think which it will. I, I think it will. Yeah, <laughs> on one. All right, <laughs> bye. Woo, man. If anything, we were still locked into um, earthquake at that point, huh? Yeah. Well, we had to waste one earthquake, and then it went off, and then we were able to switch up. So, eh. yeah. So that's fine. It's not like we really had a choice anyway. Not bad at all. Okay, so here we go. Moving on to battle number thirty, the last battle of the episode. That flew by fast. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So here we go against the roller skater girl. Named We're about ten episodes away from seeing legendaries. Ugh. Cleo. Salio. <laughs> Probably Cleo. <laughs> yeah, we definitely. Uh, she was in our uh, previous uh, run through. Okay, here we go. Was so she what really? are we doing? Uh... What's this thing gonna do? Uh, maybe you like power a power punch a and sucker punch. Huh? You want a power up punch? Yeah, I would power punch, and then you can sucker punch on the next turn, because these things usually don't run support moves outside of, like, Calm Claws and maybe Protect. Right. Where the heck is Mega Flygon at, right? Uh, we got Swagger. That's not okay, but it does mean our power up. If we're confused, do we get confusion twice for the baby? No. No, you okay. Just get the, you I was get hoping the one time. Oh, no! At this point, however, because we do have the free boost, I would want to go for Sucker Punch. At this yeah, point. yeah, I agree. Because that would have done. Watch him keep going for Swagger. Yo! Oh, uh, here we go. The Mason begins. It's not Stab. This is it. So we either do it. Or we die. Or we die. Oh, good. Uh, and he did go for an attack. Plus two Sucker Punch. And finish him off, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That was scary. That was, that very was scary. scary. No way of healing either. Noivern. Mm -hmm. Sucker Punch? Same thing. It can't switch a Roo. Um, best thing it can do is Tailwind. Uh, yeah, I should clean it up. Yeah, yeah, even more wow. than Boom. Kill him, baby. Yeah. Oh, man. Thanks for the swagger boost, I guess. <laughs> Charizard. <Woo. clears throat> Same thing with this. Flygon actually kind of helped us out. Wow, unbelievable. That, will that be able to, yeah, oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh my god, wow. And got a crit on that first one, or the second one? The second one, one I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that, can the babies hit crit? Oh my goodness, that was actually kind of tough. I mean, we, <laughs> we could have eventually like hit ourselves and killed ourselves, but uh, we only got like a three then turn I, confusion, yeah. not bad. Mm -hmm. Then Ooh. at that point, it would have been, it probably would have turned into Aegislash versus Charizard, which is little terrifying yeah just a bit i mean we could shadow sneak it obviously but weakness policy take one yeah wow Unless it like sunny date on a turn before that that would have yikes 
All right. Well, I, I there we have it, guys. That is the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you again. Uh, of course, if you guys would like to stay tuned to even more of these uploads, click on that subscribe button. Um, also, click on the annotation right up above to uh, go to Elo's channel and subscribe to him as well. A very awesome Poketuber. Does a lot of live streams, Wi-Fi battles, so definitely check him out. So on our next episode, we'll do battles, what, 30... what? One? 31 through 30 35. Five? Yes, the next five will happen. So stay tuned. Um, other than that, Elo, take us home. Things are getting pretty scary, and I'm hoping you guys are going to stay tuned for this because things are finally getting interesting. So we'll see where we end up next time. Absolutely. Until next time, bye, guys. See you guys later.